Well, here we are in the shop again. Uh, it's kind of warm in here. Um, yeah, it's gotten to that point of the year where I wish I had a cooling system in the shop, but I don't. So what we do have is our filter system up there and then above my head, the ceiling fan. But we're gonna get to work here. What we're doing is uh, we're gonna build a, a big dehydrator. Presently, let me show you this fascinating piece of equipment. We have a little one. And uh, yeah, it's, uh, it does the job, does the job. If you're doing very small amounts, but we have huge amounts to do. And uh, for instance, I'm testing out one of mine. It, this isn't the drying shed. The drying shed's another building I have. Uh, but the garlic is getting ready to go. And I hung a piece up. I wanted to see what it'd do in here. It's a little, little much in here. So we're going to build a dehydrator. I kind of sketched something out here that I've seen on the internet. I've seen lots of them. This one here, we're going to do one that actually has the uh, beer cans in it. For the heat collector uh, that heat will run up here to the top and then down through the product to the back wall and back up this back chimney back here and exit here there will be a small roof up here uh, with some tiles it will have wheels and i will be able to roll that into my goat barn there should be just enough room to get her in there and uh keep her out of the way. I've tried to come up with a plan on how to separate it here so that I could actually fold this up and take up less floor space. And then all these measurements you see are arbitrary. Yeah, I know, it's not scientific. But, you know, you're gonna build something, draw it up on a piece of paper, and then I go to work. That's how I built this house, <laughs> believe it or not. All right, so we've already cut up our product. Now, what's my motto? Don't buy it, use what you got. Unfortunately, I needed some two by fours and I ain't paying that damn price that they got now. That's, that's insane. Well, I had some old dunnage wood and what I did was uh, ripped it up into two by twos and two by fours. Also had some dunnage, uh, Sheets of OSB, I ripped that up. Yeah, I know I should probably use outside type, but what I'm gonna do is on the interior side, I'm gonna spray it with a tacky glue I've got and put some foil on it. That's to help reflect the heat back up in through the system. And I don't wanna have the moisture in there. So we're gonna work with that a little bit when we're putting it together. Also the uh, uh, outside, well, it won't be in the weather, so to speak, not unless it rains. Well, it shouldn't be out dehydrating if it rains, unless it's a summer squall, and in which case the wood will be fine. Uh, look, we're doing this on the cheap. That's my motto. Over here, we're working with our collector. And as you can see, uh, we have two separate types of plexi. Um, again, we use what we have. We had to pick up this piece here because I used the other piece. I had two of those, uh, but the other one uh, I used to build a window for a door in the uh, in the tool shed. And of course, this blue film is will come off. And this stuff here, actually, you know, it is clear. <laughs> so we got that. That's our project. We also are gonna be doing another project at the same time. One of my granddaughters needs a dining room table. So I have some bits and pieces of different things and uh, we're going to uh, try and build her up a table. I got a couple of brand new chairs I just did and uh, so we'll see if we can accommodate her. So that's it, that's the project. We're gonna get going here, we'll keep you posted. Uh, it's like I say real hot out here, so it'll be work Run into the air come back out work run into the air until it's done 
All right, so we're moving along. Um, I built the chimney and we're setting up for the spacers. And as you see, the bottom is stepped out. It should uh, work out fine. Uh, trying to give it just enough room to create the suction. We have 10 shelves. Uh, I did use a glue on this one for the simple fact that uh, I want to keep it tight. This has to seal um, to create the vacuum I need. So she's good. She's screwed and growed. And I'm using screws and not nails. Uh, one of the things is this. As you can see, abundance of screws. These are packaging screws for crates. When you ship crates out, and you skin it, that's what you use. And uh, instead of throwing them away, I had my guys when they were doing uh, the uncrating just to throw them into drums and we saved them. So, you know, it was either that or the trash. And that was several years ago. Um, as you can see, I still have a bunch. So it works out, it's no waste. Again, I try not to spend the money. So uh, we'll carry on here shortly, and uh, it's hot, it's damn hot, so we're going to take a break. Okay, so here we've got her to the point where she's she's framed and I got the first wall up. We cut the chimney in the back. And then this will get all framed up. I think uh, I'm gonna have to stop for the day. Sorry I didn't get you all the little details in between. Um, it's, it's, it's hot in here. <laughs> we have fans going and all that. As you can see, it's kind of warm. But as you can also see, I've got the chimney. All I gotta do is make the top um, got to do some backfill. This side, this is where the intake is. That's why we have this frame. You'll see that next. But, uh, yeah, I've got to cut strips for this. Um, I think I'm going to cut strips. I may not. i got to go sit down and think about it. Because being the fact i got to make this sealed, I may have to do something else. To get a good seal in there but as you can see uh, yeah I think you can see we're getting there we're getting there all right so we're set up on the uh, on the box and we're working on the collector uh, I'm trying to make sure that we have everything right so I'm jigging it up piecing it together. The whole point of my jigging it up is because I want a small space in between. If you go 24 inches like I've been, or had intended, it was uh, 
going to be half a can, and that's too much space. A little space is okay. Uh, ideally, you want it nice and tight, but uh, because of the way I'm mounting it on here, I needed to get it a little wider. So right now what we're doing is we are uh, taking and drilling the hole in each one of these for the uh, can. So she'll sit like that and she'll sit like that. I want to get all these drilled, compress them in, mark them, put the backer on, flip it over, put the thing together, then mount these. Because I want, ideally I want these just right. So I'm going to glue all these together, set them in, glue it to one end. There's, one of these will stay out. There's two of these. And at the very end, you'll go ahead and put it in nice and tight. So I'm going to start drilling. Quite messy, quite messy. All right, moving on. Okay, one step closer. Got uh, this done. Now we got to do the ends, attach them where the cans go. Um, so need to build a roof, still need to build a door. We're getting there and then we'll test it and see if it works. All right, so we've gotten to the point where we can't move this thing. It's too heavy. So I uh, put a couple of swivels. These are useless out in the yard, of course, because they'll just sink in the muck and the grass. And so <clears throat> they're actually more for just around in here. My thought is, is that I could pick this end up like a wheelbarrow. Now I'm gonna put two wheels back there, but the question is, okay, so how do you put wheels back there? Well, what we're doing today is we're welding up a jig. Um, basically, I've got some all thread here, the same size as my axles needed. And then I'm going to put that on here. Of course, I'll make it nice and level and straight and all that good stuff and uh, we'll weld it on and then we'll weld through the buttonhole. I would grab this and show you, but <laughs> I just welded it. So, let's carefully ooh, pick it up if we can. Okay. So, what we've got here this is the bracket. It will fit down in that corner down there, slip underneath. We'll have to flip this thing on its back. And I cut these holes for mounting. Two holes for the top to stabilize it. And that should do. I got one for the left and now I've got to weld up the one for the right. And then we'll be good to go. I've got this painted up. So we're ready to glue up the cans and put those in. Uh, we're coming along. I still have the roof to do and a few other things, but uh, we're getting there. We're getting there. Back to back to welding we go. All right, so we got her bolted up. It's a temporary wheel until I get the ones I want. Yeah, so there you go. Done paint, I know the color that the color is, uh, I'm trying to get rid of some paint that I got and uh, it was from another project for a little girl's uh, table. Anyway, I'm just burning up paint. So there you go. Now I can mobile it once I get those boards out. <laughs> We're installing the cans. 
It's actually very time consuming. Uh, this is what we've got left to do. Each one of these cans, and I can't do it one handed, so I don't know where my tripod is, so. Um, yeah, so we put a ring of goo on here, and then we slide it into here. And if you can see it, there's the goo squeezing out. Now, some of them I cleaned them up to make them look a little better, but I don't really don't care. It all looks as, as long as they're sealed. That's all I care about, so we'll keep moving. And grooving. Oh yeah, and I did work on the granddaughter's table. I have the top over there. It's got to be stained once the glue's all dry. But anyway, I digress. This is what we're talking about. So let's get back to it. Here we are. Uh, we've gotten a little further down the line here. Uh, what you're looking at here is the back side. That's the chimney vents open. We're running a test. Um, there's our thermostat. And uh, it's showing 76 degrees at 7.20 a.m. Uh, let's see if we can get around the sides here. We got the nose sticking out. Problem is, is that as you see, we have high clouds today. So it's not gonna work out too well, but it's a test. So here we've got the plexi on. Um, I had to use a center strip because, as I said, I try to use as much material as we have laying around. And the two thicknesses differences. The one at the top is very thin. This here is about uh, eighth inch, maybe a little more. As you see, the gray material at the top. Um, that is some of the fire block I used. Um, one of the things I didn't say is the stuff up in the higher chambers, the heat chambers, I used this stuff. That's because inside in here, in the dead of summer, this is going to get extremely hot. Um, you want a high heat resistance, some kind of a silicone in most cases. But in, uh, in applying this here, um, cutting a strip, uh, a wood strip and putting it on top would have probably been a better idea, but I didn't have, uh, I already had a lot of holes in this material, so I didn't want to redo and uh, try to find those holes or make more holes in the plexiglass, so what we did behind it is a little, a little silicone. Silicone in most cases is good to about 400 degrees. Um, anything above that, you have to buy a special formulated high temp silicone, which is available if you can find it, or you can order it online. I didn't want to do that because again, cost is cost. And, uh, so I used the, uh, the high heat. You can see it down here where I didn't touch it up with black paint. <clears throat> That's high heat. So it's your call, your choice. On the door, what we did was we've installed the a panel and then I've got all these turnbuckles. These are simple, easy to do turnbuckles. You know, why does it stick out higher? is because if you come over here and look, you'll see, I get my fat hands out of the way, this gray strip along here. What I used was a, uh, a camper shell seal for pickup trucks. I had some left over, so I used that, and that sealed it, but it also pushed it out. I would have used a different hinge, but I have a bucket full of these from people giving them to me and getting them from different projects, uh, restorations, things like that. 
so I didn't want to buy a different hinge so I cut this down a little short so that I could mount this type of a hinge this is just your kitchen cabinet hinge and it works out um, yes I know the studs on the wheels stick out a little further that's why there's a nut out there so that I don't gouge myself uh, it's meant for a wider tire but that's the tire I have available, so that's the tire I'm using. I could cut it off, but then if I ever put the wider tire on it, I wouldn't have enough thread. So, hence I'm just leaving it alone. But we're gonna test this out. I don't think we'll have real sunshine that could actually start dehydrating with this until July 4th. Um, that's when uh, Forecasting shows that most of our whimsical clouds and our rain will be gone. But I can test it. The only thing I have to do is watch out for these wings sticking out. Inside in here, there is screening. I think you can see it. Um, we have a lot of mud daubers. It's a wasp that makes a mud house. And if you leave something like this open, it would fill up with wood with wasps and I don't want that so over here is where our probe goes in we're in the main chamber we're up high because I want to kind of get um, correlation between this uh, updraft where it cuts here and then when it starts to go down uh, I want the maximum temp which should be right about there I can always move the probe so it's all tests, test, test, test. Well, it was uh, it was kind of drawn out a little longer than I wanted to build. Um, finding scraps and pieces and parts uh, was a little more trying. And uh, the weather didn't cooperate. Working in here at 100 degrees was kind of terrible. So anyway, in my talking, we've already gone up a degree. So we'll see if it continues in that realm. And uh, when we do finally get to that point where we can actually put fruit in here, then we will uh, we'll make another video show you. Right now, I'm going to build two more. I'm going to build two screen racks. I can do ten, but I'm only going to do two because I'm going to use some uh, just some cheap window cloth. And once I verify everything's working. Then and only then will I spend the money on real good uh, dehydrator type screen like this little baby here has. Like I said, that's our baby that we use right now. There is not, uh, not a lot of room in there. Uh, I've got a couple more racks, but... This kind of rack is what I think we'll shoot for. I like this rack, maybe a little smaller in the diamonds, but uh, we'll let you know. That's it for now. If you have any questions, put them in the comments and uh, I'll try to answer them. I don't have a written diagram or anything. I went online, saw different designs and just built this out of the back of my head, so. I showed you the drawing I started with. That's just a sketch pad drawing. The rest is up to you. Hey there, I'm gonna give you a quick update. I think we pretty much knocked this out. Um, it's working, everything's good to go. Uh, currently, uh, that's the inside temperature. We also have one up here in the chimney I have the doors partially closed because I'm trying to maintain. I don't want to get too high over 150. It just went up to 151. I got this on the back. I track it. Uh, temperatures. And uh, you can see my deal here going in. Everything seems to be functioning properly. We're tracking the sun. This is collecting quite well. A little deformity on that top panel, but I think that was because it's so thin. 
Other than that, it seems to be functioning properly. It rolls around fairly easy. You see my doors. I've got all those little clips on it. That's the main saying, even pressure. So I've shown you that before. But uh, painting it, things like that, when I get around to it. Uh, right now, she's in business. She's got, uh, we do a lot of basil. And right now, it's full of basil. So uh, I can't really show you too much of what's going on. But let's, I'll go ahead and give you a quick peek. Each one of these has to be opened. Now, I'm only gonna open this for a second. Now, I've only got these racks in it right now, and they are, yeah, they're drying. So, that's a good thing. That's a good thing. Now, we gotta lock it all back up, keep even pressure, make sure that we don't have any air leaks. All right, we're good to go. Boy, it's going up again. Shoot. Hey, will y'all take care? And uh, we'll catch you on the, the next project.